Rob, this has been a great chat. Are you ready for rapid fire questions? Been looking forward to it since we started. <laughs> All right. The campaign you're most proud of. It's absolutely Live Earth, which I'm not sure if you remember, was a global event that took place in seven continents. Um, it was a concert series that I worked for a few months to help facilitate all of the branding and graphic content for screens for. Definitely, without question, the largest thing I've ever worked on. I, I think with deliverables in the thousands, um, being a giant stadium for the actual event, both in the truck and in the stadium, and literally on stage was just an epic experience. Your favorite movie? Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It is everything. It is brilliantly crafted. It is an amazing script. It is a awe-inspiring directorial experience. It is the most talented actor and actresses um, that I can imagine in one in one film. And and I was very, very fortunate to actually get an opportunity to see a rough cut of it. Um, and even in its earliest stages, it was obvious that it was brilliant. If Hollywood were to make a movie based on your life story, who would you want to play you? It's a tough one because uh, the the comment I got growing up most often was that James Spader was uh, somebody that I looked like, but I absolutely uh, never shared his his attitude. Um, so I would say if you're if you're going just on looks, let's say James Spader um, in the uh, in the eighties and nineties. My follow up: If Hollywood were to make that movie based on your life story, what would you call it? My grandmother had this amazing saying that I think is both somewhat optimistic and pessimistic at the same time. I don't I don't know, but she would say, cheer up. Things could always be worse. And that is absolutely a philosophy that I think uh, would make for a good book title or a movie title. Your favorite book. So the first book that Dave Eggers ever wrote was a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. And, you know, it it ripped me the the minute I started reading it I it's one of those books that I was you know I had the time to do it but I I didn't put down I literally read the whole book in one sitting um over the course of an entire day and I think I've probably read it every other year for every year that's happened since then your favorite song it would be a Pink Floyd classic wish you were here uh, I would also call it the best concert that I've ever been to, which was Giant Stadium back in 94. The best advice you have ever received? I think I actually already answered this question. Um, my my brilliant and wonderful grandmother um, had told me, cheer up, things could always be worse. And And I think that it showed so much of her heart in that. She was, she was somebody that was always looking for a bright side on things um no matter how how grim things could be there was always the possibility that it could be worse which is kind of a way of saying enjoy what you have right now if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice what would you say going back to what we started from as as far as a conversation goes is that it's not it's not a problem to love what you do and and you don't need to separate your worlds as far as what you're passionate about i think bring as much of your passions into what you do every day as possible and do it in a way that's true to yourself like feel free to be a nerd be weird be different say things that people don't agree with i think the more that you can create that sort of uh, sense of self the better my signature closing question if you weren't in media, what would you be doing and why? I'm I'm a very full circle person and I, I definitely would want to make sure that I am giving back to the community. So if I wasn't doing what I do right now at Versus, I would want to make sure that I was participating either in a nonprofit or in, a, in the political arena, something that ensured that the problems that people faced were things that I was concentrating on on resolving for them.